Nicole Ayers, the first of the flies, newest class of astronauts to enter, and last commander of Crew 10, Anne McLean. They were just in space moments ago, <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely. 400 meters. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for Splashdown, located in the Gulf of America, um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And Splashdown, Crew 9, back on Earth. And as you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation of splashdown. Dragon Freedom has returned home and NASA astronauts. System safety verifications are in progress. Oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we, can, we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel at distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to work recovery operations for Dragon Freedom kind of like bridge-like structure there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. We'll see that articulate backwards. Alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> <laughs>